go back home without taking punishment. But we didn't put enough hands on them from both sides. We 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 played it too safe for you to be that good. We like because if you say put Mayweather in there with a guy like that, what would have happened? At twenty, what's your core? Twenty six, twenty seven. Good point right there. That's a so, good point. So this is how I think about boxing. Is Shakur is nasty. Top five talent in boxing all around. Like one it's of not the good most- to compare people. That's why it's, you're right. That's why I'm saying get to your bread and butter. You a great defensive fighter. He got good offense. I worked with him for a fight and felt his power and all of that. Yo, he's I- quick. Quick, know his distance. Yo, he's quick, bro. But here go the thing. When you thinking too much about defense, it's gonna steal away from your offense. So so check this out, right? No, no, no. Let me go finish. Go finish. No, I'm a, you can say what you're gonna say. Nah, because I don't want to lo- lose your train of thought. I'm gonna okay. remember my question. So basically, to me, Shakur is 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 I think he got the best defense in boxing right now. Yeah. And I think that is I his agree. uh he got so much ability that he want to be perfect and that can hold you back from not wanting to even get touched. But, you know, if he opened up more, he still wouldn't have got hit a lot. It might, he might've got hit once or twice more, but I know I seen what Shakur could do up close on the offensive side. So, you know, watching tanks defense against Frank and the way he was going about trying to break him down. You know, you got to give props to that because, like, when you when you trying to physically hunt somebody down, it's hard to be defensive. You know what I'm saying? Because you're trying to get them, and you tr- you're going to open up a little bit. Right. But he sh- the thing about Tank, when he goes about that work, he don't need to throw so many goddamn punches. Right. So hey, now, hey, Mr. Cord, listen. This fight right there, go to, and it's a debate. We're gonna have a debate in a few. I'm gonna let the fans go in, get go in at it. Let them ask you some questions. Make sure you guys become a member of this channel as well, so you can jump on the panel and chop it up with the best. Did you read some of them super chats here, or what? Nah, we don't got no hey, more. Look, look. I'm gonna just say this. Um, Martin Anthony, thank you for the you, dollar. Listen, Shakur's so good. I do agree with him when he said. Even though I think he could have did more, I ain't going. He a great fighter, so you you know I'm gonna say this when he say I want the dance partner, right? I do believe Shakur need the right dance partners for you to even see how good he is because he is that good. Like he that good to where he could over he can um climb levels. You know that's why I would like I would at least like to see him fight either Zapata or Lomachenko. All right, this is what I would do. Tank, Zapata, Lomachenko, and Shakur. I would let Tank choose who he want to fight since he got the biggest name. He deserved to get to pick his own fight first. And the rest of the three, you know, get to figure out who's going to fight. Like if Tank say, I want him, Zapata. To me, Zapata's the easiest out of the bunch, but he still is a dog. But I'm saying he would be four. Like he would be... You know, if anybody got to pick, I think he would be the 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 weak link, but he still is an animal. He can fight though. So I think Tank need he get to pick who he want to fight. Check that one. I like this one. Gabriel Mendez. Thank you for the two dollars, man. Appreciate the donation. Real talk. How do you guys think Shakur fares with Cepeda? I would love to see. I think Shakur cook him, but and I would love to see it. He needs cook. somebody like that. Cook like a hibachi chef. Yeah, Shakur, his style, his style. See, he need to fight somebody like him or Lomachenko. He need to, he needed to, him, Lomachenko, or or Tank is who he need to fight. One of them three. It's a, it's gonna hurt him more if he don't fight somebody like that next. Mm. I would like to see him fight one of them three. All three of them. I don't think him and um. Tank is gonna happen next, or so put them next year, like in uh, put them in May or something like that. Mm. But let Tank choose. Tank get to choose who. Someone needs to customize and save hundreds with Liberty Mutual.
Wait, there's an elevator? Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. My biggest concern when I was thinking of getting Botox Cosmetic was... Losing my expression. I wanted to stay Javi and stay me. The doctor did great at explaining that the treatment plan for me was what I needed. So I got treated on my forehead. My crow's feet and my frown lines. I am so happy with the results. My results are subtle. I'm still myself. Just with fewer lines. Talk to your doctor about Botox Cosmetic and whether it's right for you. The effects of Botox Cosmetic may spread hours to weeks after injection, causing serious symptoms. Learn more at BotoxCosmetic.com. Want to fight? Uh, Ricky Dicky Paul. Thank you for the five dollars. Shakur, Shakur is like Teal. He fights to the level of his opposition. I don't agree with that. No, you know? I don't agree. I don't agree. Shakur still was sharp as hell, though. Teal don't. Teal, the difference with him and Teal is Teal performance don't even be that good. Like he be good, real good against the top, but even when he like Shakur don't go down to his level as far as looking sharp. Shakur was, Shakur was still sharp as hell last night. It wasn't an exciting performance, but he was sharp, though. So here's my question, okay? And thank you also for the donations, everybody. Um, smash the like button. We got over 650 people on the live. So make sure you guys go out your way and hit the like button to improve the visibility of the show if you guys like content like this so we can keep it running every day. Um, also become a member of the channel, chop it up on the panel. The link is in the comments. Okay. So, um, interviewing coach Kenny Ellis today, he made a point that I was, I, I, I forgot about, honestly, I, I didn't, I didn't put no thought on it. Um, Shakur's a right-hander. He fights out of the southpaw position. His hook clearly in the fight was the, the, the punch that was clearly the more effective. Him shooting that left hand, which I believe he didn't shoot it enough, and I believe that his jab, he lacked on his jab a lot, especially, you know, going to, walking down somebody without his jab, I think, I think that's not textbook to me. But, um, I, you know, I ain't, I ain't at Shakur's level, but in the same time, what would you have to say about, you know, that? Because I think Kenny Ellis says something. If you fought orthodox, he probably have more power. What you think? No, cause he threw too many lefts to me. He didn't throw enough right from the right side. That was my complaint. He threw. Look, go watch the fight. He threw. All I thought he should have countered more with his left hand. Yeah, he threw straight he down threw, the pipe. No, to me, he threw one punch at a time to hook too much. He threw one, one, one. He didn't put his punches together because he didn't want to get hit. He put, he didn't throw, he barely threw more than one or two punches the whole fight. He threw one punch at a time. It's, it's things I could say. You know, I'm, I'm you know. Um, He's definitely a, a spurt fighter. Oh, that's for sure. Yeah, but he didn't put his punches together, like because I think he didn't want to get hit. But, but no, nah, to me, he didn't come like on three, the right three, side th threes and fours. Yeah, he could have threw that last night. Could do and it, and, and that could have got that could have been the trick to get him out. Yeah, not nah, with Tank. Yeah, you ain't gonna throw. You ain't gonna throw too many threes and fours because Tank is a great counter puncher and can punch. But with this guy, it was time to rain him off on him to let him loose because dude wasn't no puncher. Now with Tank, yeah, you throw one at a time too. You ain't trying to open up and throw four because Tank could cut in the middle and catch you and knock you out. Tank is a all right. People did like this. The thing with Tank, people don't give him credit on how smart of a fighter he is. Like Tank can adapt on the fly, quick. Like 
and he'd get it there, he'd do it. A lot of fighters thinking about it, but they don't do it. Like you could see him thinking, but the fight be over with. Tank him collect it, he'd download it, and probably be like, all right, he keep doing that shit, I'm gonna get his ass. Then he end up boom, lights out. Like the way that he knocked out Frank Martin was was like that that took a whole lot of um like ring and, and, and mental smarts because just how he knocked him out was something I was working on with my young fighter that I'm working with. And I got to say, look what he did. Like, like damn, he hit him up. And that, and it was like exactly damn near how he did it. So, so I think that Tank's skill level is, is he might be um, the best all-around fighter in boxing. Like, Ooh. no, outside of Crawford. Like, all-around, I would put him number two behind Crawford. Number two? Yeah, like as far all around as fight through it all, defense, offense, killer instinct. Shakur don't really had a killer instinct because that chin ain't insurance. The, yeah, because that ain't the style. Does Tank got a better chin than, than than Crawford. I don't know because he, ain't, you know, we got to see. Crawford is at the, you know, he um he he Crawford did did it longer with better fighters so. He fought the best opposition at 40 and 47. Yeah, he, you know, Crawford did it longer. So my thing is this, Tank people forgetting how good Tank skills are. He punched so hard that people ignoring that. Just like Tommy Hearns to me, who was one of the greatest fighters ever. He hit so hard, you forgot that he was outboxing. Yeah, 